It was just amazing. I couldn't believe it. It was, you made my day, that was for sure. <laughs> no, no, that's great. Um, yeah. No, it's honestly my pleasure. I know how hard it is for so many people out there right now. And I know how passionate a lot of our fans are. Um, and when Tom told me his story, I thought it was just, it was great. Um, <laughs> and I feel like it's the least I can do. So now hopefully um, we can get out and play some footy soon and, and have you back out there supporting. But no, nah, I hope you can um, take this, enjoy it. And um, it's a bit of a sign that Frio cares and um, have you support the club for a long time. Yeah. Well, I'm making um, a, a, um, a mascot doll every year. So this was last year's. It's Fifey. Oh, awesome. Very good. And, <laughs> and I just ordered a, another secondhand little boy that's got brown hair. So I think we might have to call him Sam. So he'll oh, be there you go. <laughs> But I went yeah. and saw your first game last year and mm -hmm. that just blew me away. I just, I'd forgotten how enjoyable it is to be in the crowd. Yeah, and yeah, absolutely. The moment, you know, um, last year I went and saw you play at Adelaide as well. Yeah, no, that wasn't so, the best game, but. <laughs> no, but at least it was fun. And I sat next to my a great auntie who's a big pros. And um, yeah. so she had all her gear and her mascot and I had my gear and mascot and we were sitting all amongst pros. And the lady near me was not happy that I was a, a docker girl. <laughs> uh, no, we love that. We don't really, we don't have a lot of support interstate. So when the fans go over, it's, it's awesome. We can hear a few got a few people supporting when we kick a goal because it's, it's usually very one-sided. But no, that's so good. That's right. Oh, and I jump up so that you knew that I was the only one in this section. <laughs> Good on your boys. <laughs> yes, keep that up for sure. <laughs> no, it's good fun. Yeah, uh, so it's a real pity that that you can't play, but you know, I suppose in this time, it's just... Well, we want to keep the team safe as well. Mm, yeah, so I hope yeah, that we, absolutely. I no. hope as a country we get through it a bit easier and then, you know, there's a at least if we're only restricted in Australia, that'll make it easier and maybe we can get these games back and... Yeah, just, yeah, spot on. I think, yeah, I think at the moment everyone's looking at the big picture, which is important. And the other day, footy's just a game, but it'd be awesome if we can get it back because I think people need something to be excited about at the moment, even, even if they can just watch it on TV or something like that. Um, yeah. So well, we all, we're all doing our part. Not, uh, it's not yeah, just a on. game, really. From, from my perspective, <laughs> playing it, well, watching you guys play for my whole childhood, the way I consume and watch football is so different to the way my mother does and my grandmother does. They live for it. They... Mm -hmm they get a new thing and it's, it's, it's their life. They're like, oh my gosh, so I've just, I've got this and now I can go to the game and I can have a new, <laughs> for them it is a part of their every day as well or their every month or their every week because they go out and they do this and this is what they really want to do. That's a part of their routine. Yep. Not just, we're going to watch yep. the footy on the TV. It's, no, I've got to get dressed. What am I going to wear? What am I going to, <laughs> oh my gosh, let's get ready, let's get pumped. And I think so it's not just, a support team of we're just going to go and watch football it's they really loved doing this this was a part mm -hmm. of their every day and it's their love it's their, it's their crave yeah. for it no that's really special Amy, here. she's a new friend i made last year and i met her on the plane going to adelaide because she was going to adelaide as well so mm -hmm. it's um it's nice you know you meet different people and new people just from where you sit as well yeah absolutely it's, nice it's a real connection you can too. Yeah, you can certainly build a connection with so many different people and brings people together and um, yeah, there's so much passion out there, which I love in our fans and I think most clubs have those sorts of fans as well, but I think Freo especially. So, no, that's so good to hear, um, which what, which why it makes me so happy to be able to keep you on as a member at Freo and, and hopefully for a long time. When we're leaving the stadium and catching um, the buses home, that often there's other the other um, team's supporters are there. And when they've come from interstate, mm. their biggest comment that I hear is they love Docker fans. Uh, yeah. And that they're the <laughs> nicest fans, that we're not, we're not mean and not horrible fans like some of the other teams. So, mm. you know, a lot of the other team's fans acknowledge that we've just got this other sort of feeling, which I, I really like, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I love that. Yeah. That's a really good call. Yeah, no, it's yeah. great. So, and how's your hamstring? Yeah, good, good. I had a lot of issues in the past from it, but um, now going well. My body's really healthy at the moment, so I'm training really hard just from home and out of the garage, um, which is a bit of a challenge. But um, 
Yeah, no, it's going. It's going really well. So I'm just itching to get back. Hopefully we get some good news soon about being able to train at the club. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing well. So the season being delayed potentially works out not too bad for me because I've been injured for most of the first half of the year. Sort of missed a lot of games, but might not miss too many now. So yeah. we'll see. But um, no, yeah, no, it's all going well for me. Yeah. So I'm from Victoria originally. So my family lives um, in Melbourne and... I live with three of the other Freer boys, younger fellas, um, in a house just um, just south of the river in Perth, um, which has been great. Uh, um, it's yeah, it's been an experience. It's good fun a lot of the time, but four of us in the house gets a bit full on sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, especially and for footballers, trying to feed four footballers is a nightmare. Um, <laughs> But no, nah, it's been good fun though, and we're all it's it's good because we're all in it together. We're all committed, so we head to training together and hold each other accountable and um, enjoy it at the same time. So uh, it's yeah. been really good. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, at least you've got a common cause, so it's a yeah. bit easier to share share a house that way. Then. Yeah. Yeah. No. Spot on. Um, yeah. It's it's interesting this year now with all this stuff going on. I don't think I'll be able to head back to Melbourne until depending on how long the season goes, maybe to the end of the year. So it'll be a whole year here in Perth without heading home, which will be interesting. Um, but I think with the everyone around the club is so tight and um, looking after each other that it's, it's made it pretty easy. Oh, look, thank you so much. It's just, I did pay it forward, your gift to me. So I actually went and purchased a, um, a FLW membership. So, awesome. Yeah, so I've got the two of them now and that'll... Now I'll probably continue it anyway. So <laughs> it's given the girls no. the support as well because they oh they play so well. Yeah, so oh, absolutely. They're having such a good season. We're so unlucky that it had to be called off, but I'm sure they'll be back again next year. It's That's absolutely my pleasure. I know how times are pretty hard at the moment, so it's the least I could do. As I said, um, yeah. So just enjoy it, and we're grateful to have you on board. Um, and like I said, hopefully for the future, and hopefully we can get back and play some footy for you guys and. Um, get it rolling again. So, no, nah, no worries at all.